Thank you for choosing Central Nebraska General Surgery for your colonoscopy needs. Today we're going to go over colonoscopy instructions. So you will be getting a hand copy of these um, with your after visit summary. Do not hesitate to contact us if you have any questions about the prep at all. If there are any blood thinners that need to be held, we will note that on the after visit summary as well. The surgery department will give you a call one to two business days before your colonoscopy. They will go through your health history, your medications and allergies, let you know of your medications, what to take or hold the morning of your procedure. Any other specific instructions they will go over as well. A pre-op history and physical will be needed within 30 days of your procedure. Today's appointment might count as that. We will go over that further um, with the nurse. Um, if you are on a baby aspirin, that is fine to continue. It's the major blood thinners that we do need held, and the nurse will also go over those with you as well. Um, you will also need to not be taking any weight loss medications over the counter or prescribed. We do a two-part Miralax bowel prep. Everything you need is over the counter. No need for prescriptions. Just grab these things at your local pharmacy. You will need 64 ounces of Gatorade, any flavor or color. They do come in 64 ounces 64 ounce bottles, or they also come in 28 ounce bottles that you will have to measure out to 64 ounces, which is the equivalent of eight cups. We do not care about the color of the uh, Gatorade. If you don't like Gatorade, that's fine as well. 64 ounces or eight cups of a clear non-carbonated beverage. You will need four Docalox laxative tablets. Just get the smallest box or bottle that the store has and a full 238 gram bottle of Miralax. Prep starts the day before your procedure. So the day before your procedure, you may have a light breakfast before nine o'clock in the morning. After nine o'clock in the morning, clear liquids only. Stay hydrated that day, so try to drink around a cup or so of clear liquids every hour while you're awake or until, until midnight to avoid dehydration. Options of clear liquids are things like water, Mountain Dew, White grape juice, coffee or tea is fine, just no milk or cream inside. Frozen water popsicles, sports drinks, lemon lime sodas, Kool-Aid, any kind of broth, again, as long as there's no chicken, beef, noodles, crackers, anything inside. You can have things like ginger ale, apple juice, lemonade, and jello with no fruit or whipped toppings. At two o'clock on the day before your procedure, you will take those four Docalox laxative tablets. Keep drinking those fluids. At six o'clock is when you will start to drink that Miralax and Gatorade mixture. I do recommend mixing that earlier in the day. Um, Miralax is a powder. It will not change the color or flavor of whatever you mix it with. Just pour the Miralax and the Gatorade into a pitcher, shake or stir it until it is fully dissolved. Once it's dissolved, it does taste better if it's cold, so I would put it in the refrigerator. Make sure it's labeled for you only so no one else partakes in that prep. Um, and then at six o'clock, you will start to drink eight ounces or one cup every half hour until 48 ounces is gone or six of the eight cups. So you will drink one cup at six, one cup at 6.30, 7, 7.30, 8, and 8.30. There will be two cups remaining and you will save and drink those four to six hours before your procedure. They recommend drinking each glass rapidly rather than sipping them but by the time you're done with those six cups, your stools should be liquid. It is common to feel bloated or nauseated, but those are only temporary. Once you start having bowel movements, that should get better. If you do get nauseated and or vomit, it is okay to wait a half hour before starting again with small sips. Nothing else to eat or drink um, after midnight that night, but you can drink clear liquids up until then if you so choose. After midnight, um, four to six hours before you come in for your procedure, you will need to drink the final two cups. We will not know that time until the surgery department gives you a call one to two business days beforehand. When you do drink those two cups, you can just drink those right down. Uh, nothing else to eat or drink after midnight except for those two cups and approved medications with a sip of water. No tobacco products the day of your procedure. For a successful colonoscopy, your bowel or colon must be empty. So we will show you a picture of what a good prep and a poor prep looks like. It is very important to drink this prep according to instructions. Um, you will have sedation for this procedure, so you do need a responsible adult over 19 to take you home and hang out with you afterwards. 
When you come to the hospital, leave expensive and valuable things at home, wear comfortable clothes. When it's time to go home, the nurse will go over instructions, answer any questions. You may have a light diet that day, but no drinking alcohol, driving, operating heavy machinery, or making legal decisions because you'll have that anesthetic on board. The following day, you may resume normal activities and diet unless they tell you something different when you leave. Dr. Ferris will tell you after your procedure what she sees, but if we take biopsies, give us a week or two to her for her to fully review this procedure with your pre-op, with any other previous procedures so she can give the most appropriate recommendations for you. She will also type out a letter that will get sent to both you and your primary care doctor or referring doctor that say what she finds and what she's recommending for repeat. Complications are rare but can be serious and life-threatening. We do have a list of things that you should be aware of on that after visit summary to give us a call or go to the emergency room with. There are risks associated with the preparation, anesthesia, and procedure, and those are also well documented on that paper. If you have any questions at all related to this prep, do not hesitate to give our clinic a call during normal business hours. The number is 402-461-5261. We're open 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. This is Sarah Mandeley, nurse with Dr. Ferris. Thank you.